people from uh, good friends and family as to why we went this route. It's coronavirus. We don't make a lot of money. And so why would you all of a sudden just turn around and buy a boat? The answer to that is kind of in two parts. The first one is, is our babies are going to be leaving the nest. My wife and I, being of the age that we are and haven't had a chance to do much in life, want to be able to get out and see the world. And as best as we can recognize, uh, this is the, uh, well, this is the best way to do it on a budget. How's it looking down there? Get you some uh, diving plugs, gear plugs, right? <laughs> you know, you should stop cleaning and enjoy your boat and let me clean. I can't. I Why? I can't stand the smell. I don't know what it is and it's going to bug me until I figure it out. Think it's in the toilet? Uh, in the holding tank? No, because I can go in here and it's not bad. I think it might be a dead animal. Hmm. So, I got to figure out what it is. It already smells a lot better in here. Good. I wish you guys would have brought the Swiffer so I could have out the floor but next time i have a list in that red bag a book mm -hmm. it's just for the boat mm -hmm. and it's everything from you can make lists of what we need to bring next time to lists of things we got to do mm -hmm. you like the boat um i'll let you know after it stops stinking well, this is candace's first time sailing okay it's up to where you're going about two knots but we don't have much wind and we have no mainsail we can use because that halyard is still broken turning too hard I wish that we had a steering wheel like one of those big wheels or just like a small one what do you guys think it's just good. we're sailing we're not even using any gas or anything I thought it, I thought okay. we'd go much faster but we well, need more like, wind. It'd be a lot better if. Honey, you're turning away into the wind again. I, I know. I'm trying to get that coming through. We should get a steering wheel instead. Not enough room in this one for a steering wheel. Up front! <laughs> mm -hmm. Or it could be a small out. one. Nope, get away. Small one. Steering wheel. Oh, looks like mom's getting up to two knots. Almost. Seven, eight, nine, two knots. We're about 30 feet. If she stays on this tack, she'll still do about 2.2. 2. Does that mean? Aim for the point. So you pay attention to the compass and then you're, you're you know, off in the distance. You know what I mean? It helps you keep a boat on a tack. On a straight line. We're 30 feet deep. We're doing it for our family. We're doing it for the time that we have left for our kids. You know, for those parents out there, uh, you'll understand this. The thing about our babies is hey, you fall in love with them. You know, their fat rolls, the crying, and the simple, but genuine smiles that they produce. And then they turn into toddlers. Fun, energetic. <laughs> wow, are they taxing and wearing. 
And then one day the toddler is gone. And in its place, a little kid that asks the most interesting questions you've ever heard. It makes you think. And these kids are they're so innocent and, and just just so fun to be around. And it keeps going on like that. Pretty soon they're preteens and then teenagers. They drive you absolutely nuts. They cost you a fortune, but then you, you see yourself in them. You see your significant other in them. You see how they're growing and how they're developing their own personalities. You become very proud of them. Frustrating as though it might be, but you really learn to love who they are. And it still keeps going on like that. You never get a chance to miss any of them because, well, there's always a new kid to take the place of the old one. It is until they grow up. Then all of those kids that you fell in love with, well, they walk out the door. And they all, at once, every one of those kids, the baby, the toddler, the kid, the preteen, the teenager, they all break your heart at once. So, since we'll be starting this thing, what are you doing there your first day on the boat? Trying to take a nap, but people keep bothering me. Do you, do you like the boat? I don't know, yeah. What'd you think of your first time steering it? My son is out with his girlfriend right now. She had a picnic kind of surprise for him. So um, this is our first actual full day with a boat. So for me, you know, bringing it home yesterday. And the whole family's out, um, with the exception of my oldest. He'll be joining us later. And uh, we sailed out here, kind of in the middle of the Beaver Island archipelago. Um, not, wasn't a lot of wind today. And of course, I still haven't fixed that <laughs> son of a <laughs> main sail halyard. But uh, at least one thing compared to yesterday, the motor's running absolutely great. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna motor up, motor around. Probably done sailing for the day, um, just because I want to get back in time to make sure that we pick up Quentin. Uh, we might go for one more sail, but probably put it off until tomorrow. But a gorgeous day for, or at least just being on the water, doing some swimming and things like that. goes by so fast and you know we wanted to explore as much as we could with these kids we wanted them to have the experiences we wanted to be able to get to places where other people couldn't we wanted the most precious resource that human beings and specifically parents have this is a resource that is constantly being stolen by governments institutions corporations or just life instances that gets taken away but that resource with your children is time. And that time is valuable. It goes by so fast. And you know what? One thing I keep thinking going through this journey, you never know when it will be the, well, the very last time that you get to pick up your kid. for watching and thank you for all your support make sure you like and comment and make sure you drop an anchor on that subscribe button